the sugar decay is going to be real. Hello everyone, my name is Alan Sabulia and whoo, welcome back to my channel. Now today is a interesting video because I am going to be trying some iconic essential British sweets and candies for you guys. Am I excited? Yes. Am I a bit scared? Yes. Let's hope I don't go into a um, diabetic coma after this. Cool? Let's begin. So I ordered a box. Yeah, opened. Oh, girl. Full of British candy. And they're wrapped up really nicely, aren't they? All right, guys. Well, enough with the chit chat. Why don't we get started? That was, see, that was my British accent. I haven't done that in a while. Number one, we have jelly dots. Doesn't really say what they are on the back. Uh, oh, but it does say, do sheep count people to fall asleep? What? Oh. Okay, just open, please. That's a start. They look like crystals. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Try the purple one. Mmm, mmm. That one's legit. Mmm, let's try the green one. Mmm. Quite chewy. The chew is real. Oh, so that was my yearly jaw exercise. So I rate these 9 out of 10. Not 10 out of 10 because they're a little bit too sweet for my liking, but these are pretty good. Next, we have. The Fry's Chocolate Cream. Rich dark chocolate with a smooth fondant centre. The only thing is, I hate dark chocolate. So, that's what problems. Get it in your mouth. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> I have trouble opening things. But we did it. We got through it. Thank you. It's definitely dark chocolate. Not my favourite. That's alright. Look at that centre. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. I can already I know where this is going. Oh. No. OMG. No. Thank you. Soz, but that was too sweet. Not a fan. Secondly, dark chocolate. Hate it. Not a fan. Thirdly, the creamy center was that sugary. Tasted like some kind of a cough syrup, you know, that you have when you're three years old and you grow up thinking I never want to face that cough syrup ever again. Well, I just faced it. Because that's what it tastes like. Come to me. <laughs> now that's a 10 out of 10. I would give this a 3 out of 10. And I'm giving it a 3 because I'm sure someone out there likes dark chocolate and really sweet things. It's just not for me. So, fry. Goodbye. Whew, to wash that shit down, I'm going to pick the nicest thing that I see in this pile. That would probably have to be this whole roasted hazelnut toffee bar. Oh my god, this looks so good. I want it. I want it now. Give it to me. I just like plastic. Ew. Whack, then unwrap and enjoy. Why do you have to whack it? Why am I whacking it? Mm. Okay, I've whacked it. Look at this beautiful piece of English art. Thank you. So let's just rip off of hands. Okay, this is... I don't really know what the point of whacking it was because it's not as if it's going to make it any easier. Oh, shit. One hazelnut down. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Mmm. That toffee is not one to be forgotty. Let's put it that way. That's a 10. Next, I'm going to be trying a Yorkie. At the back, it says man fuel for man stuff. Is that serious? What about women's fuel for women's stuff? What is this not for women? Okay, that's a zero already. Hashtag equality Nestle. Hashtag equality. Next, we are going to try something called the Walnut Whip. So this Walnut Whip has a walnut on top of it. Makes sense. How do I approach this? Though, how do I, do I? No, maybe I should. Um. Oh. Oh, oh my god. 
Um, I was not expecting that. Oh, that is sweet. Hail Jesus. That is probably one of the sweetest candies I've ever tasted. Whoa. So, no thanks Walnut Whip, because you have whipped my internal organs into a state of decay. Next, <laughs> we have the Caramac. Yes, I thought I didn't finish a word there, but I did, because that's the name. How interesting. Yeah, it's just a really sweet white chocolate. Uh, no, no. Fine, because like, you know, some people might like it. But some people definitely really will not, and that's probably me. Okay, next. We have these two fizzer things by a brand called Swizzles. We've got giant fizzers. Oh, okay, so let's try those first. Oh, 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 it's sour. That's a six, because it's still nice, but it has that sour twang that kind of ruins it for me. It's like spicy food. I hate spicy food. Let me know how you guys are. Some people are obsessed with spicy food, but I'm like, it ruins the taste for me, because it's so overpowering and it's almost hurting your tongue. Next, we're going to be trying by the same brand, Swizzles, called Giant Parma Violets. Don't be sour. Don't be a bitch. Don't be shady. Just be yummy. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. That's just not me. That was kind of like swallowing a teaspoon of sugar mixed with some purple food dye and some crushed lavender. Yeah, not my usual teaspoon of choice. <laughs> so that's a one. And I'm giving it one because the colour was pretty. We have Referee's Whistle Pops by Manchester United. Oh, okay. Manchester United, they've released like an official, I don't know. It's strawberry flavoured. Let's give it a whirl. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a lollipop. It's, oh, or is it a whistle? Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Five points for the whistle. It works wonders, it works well. I approve of it. Oh my God, that tastes like plastic. <laughs> that lolly though, it tastes like the plastic melted into the lolly on a really hot day. Yeah, you need to go, I'm sorry. Next up, we have the Galaxy Duet Cookies and Cream. So it comes in like two bars. That's interesting, let's try. Mmm, mmm, okay, that's more like it. Digging this, I get it, I love it. So we've got the crunchy and the smooth texture all in one. Mm. Eight, I'm gonna give it an eight because it still is a little bit too sweet for my liking, but it's a new product and I assume it's gonna do very well. And finally, we have these two little, just, I don't know what they are, to be honest with you. Also, they're by Swizzles, it's like those these are things we had before. This one's called a refresher. Hopefully it will refresh my palate before I go and live my life again with hopefully not the taste of that disgusting cough syrup shit in that bar. Don't you just love it when plastic melts into confectionery? Yes, I live for it. Oh my God, okay. Uh, that's, that's literally stuck. Oh. No, oh, that, okay. I'm sorry. In Australia, I'm not sure if you guys have these worldwide, but we have these um, throat lozenges called strepsils, and they're made for when you have a sore throat. Those taste like lemon flavored strepsils with like medicated stuff in them to soothe your throat. It just reminds me when I have the flu and I'm almost dying. <coughs> I'm already getting sick. And last, we have the drumstick. You have the final impression of what British candy is, so you better be good. Ow! Ow! I'm gonna need a dentist appointment after this shit. Oh my god. Ow. Ow. Mm. Okay, I like this. Because it's not too sweet. It's got more of a, a creamy flavour to it, mixed with a bit of what I'm assuming is strawberry. That's probably an eight. I might indulge in you later on. So just stay put until I summon you. I'm gonna go now and drink like... <laughs> oh my God, what was that? 
I was gonna say I'm gonna go drink like a liter of water because I feel like there's so much sugar in me. And I think some of the sugar is trying to come out of me. Ooh, okay guys, that is it for my Australian Tries British Candy video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed some of the candies. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I post sometimes once a week, sometimes literally every single day, whether it's comedy skits, tutorials, challenges, just everything. Make sure you join the family. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page, follow me on Snapchat, and of course Twitter. And with that all said and done, know that I love each and every single one of you, and I will see you very soon. Mwah!